How much do you really trust the JavaScript framework running your company's entire backend? The framework that drives billions of dollars of revenue worldwide is the code you're shipping right now, this very minute, capable of allowing an attacker to run arbitrary commands on your production servers. Is your next deployment update actually protecting you or is it just opening up a new silent vulnerability that could crash your app or expose your entire source code? Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer and we're passionate about helping companies protect their organizations. With 10 years of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years of software development, I've assisted countless teams with their security and penetration test requirements. We're not talking about a hypothetical scenario anymore, folks. The initial devastating remote code execution flaw, famously dubbed React 2 Shell, was just the beginning. The fix introduced new problems. Today, we're dissecting the full-blown crisis hitting React server components and Next.js, and what you need to do right now to secure your organization. The React Server Component Security Saga is an absolute masterclass in how complex software fixes can sometimes create brand new problems. I've been in the trenches of software development for 25 years, helping companies build secure, scalable systems, and this sequence of events is a stark reminder that security isn't a destination. It's an ongoing, high-stakes battle. Now, before we dive into the technical meat of this vulnerability chain, and trust me, it's juicy, I want to ask for the best compliment you can give me. Leave a comment below. It's my favorite thing in the world to engage directly with you, the technical community, so let me know your thoughts on this whole ordeal. The initial React 2 Shell RCE or CVE 2000-25-55182 was a critical event, but developers breathed a sigh of relief when a patch was deployed until we discovered that patch led directly to follow-up issues, denial of service, and source code exposure. We're going to break down these three key components of the vulnerability chain right now. This was the core critical flaw that kicked everything off. The React 2 Shell RCE essentially allowed an attacker to execute code on the server, not just in the client's browser, by manipulating how React server components handled certain inputs. This wasn't some minor XSS issue. We're talking about full-blown remote code execution. If you're running a vulnerable version of React server components, especially within frameworks like Next.js, an attacker could potentially gain unauthorized access, steal data, or completely compromise your server. The vulnerability stemmed from an unsafe handling of specific serialized payload formats within the RSC communication protocol. Security researchers quickly demonstrated proof of concept exploits, and even more alarmingly, threat groups like those linked to China were observed rapidly exploiting the flaw in the wild. The speed of exploitation highlights the urgency. A critical flaw in a widely used framework instantly becomes a prime target. The initial advice was simple, update React and the corresponding framework immediately, which for many meant moving to the latest stable versions of Next.js or other RSC enabled platforms. When a fix for a critical RCE is rushed, secondary vulnerabilities are a very real danger, and that's exactly what happened here. The security updates intended to close the RCE gap introduced two entirely new and severe flaws, a denial of service, DOS, and a source code exposure issue. The DOS vulnerability tracked as CVE 2025-55184 allows a malicious client to send a specially crafted request that forces the server to use excessive resources, effectively crashing the application and bringing the server to a halt. For any high traffic application, a simple denial of service is disastrous, leading to massive downtime and lost revenue. Even more concerning is CVE 2025-55183, the source code exposure flaw. This issue allows an attacker to trick the server into sending back parts of your sensitive internal source code. This code exposure is incredibly dangerous because it hands attackers the blueprint to find other vulnerabilities, bypass security controls, and plan sophisticated long-term attacks. I wanna pause here for a second and bring it back to you. I absolutely love seeing your technical comments and questions, so if you've had to scramble to patch this in your own company, or if you're wrestling with the challenge of securing complex modern stacks like this, please leave a comment below. Your feedback helps shape the content of this channel. You can also check out more of my thoughts on developer skills and security best practices at Startup pack.com. The sheer number of articles, security advisories, and social media posts following the initial RCE created a wave of misinformation, or what one analyst called red herrings and AI slop. It's critical for security professionals and developers to cut through the noise and focus on verified mitigation steps. The most important step after the initial RCE fix is to apply the second follow-up patch from your framework vendor, which means updating your React and Next.js versions again to the most recent stable release that addresses all three flaws. As a fractional CTO, I stress to my clients that even with patches, you must treat all public-facing server components with the utmost suspicion, implementing strict input validation and access control as a layered defense. It's a reminder that relying on a single upstream fix is never enough. So what's your take on this vulnerability? 
think this could be a major issue. I really enjoy engaging discussions, so drop a comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe because at Startup Hack, we're passionate about helping companies secure their business. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years of software development, I've assisted countless teams with their security and pen testing needs. So reach out today and let us help. Check out startuphacksecurity.com.